Welcome pilots, my name is Hybrid V and we are back here once again to watch your takeoff and landings and look what we got here, here at Sunny Oris and we have a reclaimer coming in to land. Now, if this is the first time you've watched this series, this is where I secretly fly around spaceports and watch you all in game taking off and landing and give you a rating out of 10. Now, what we look for here is not how well or technical the landing is, but more how cinematic or even how cool the landing actually is. So we want really controlled descent profiles if someone comes in to land, utilizing VTOLs if the ship has it, lining up perfectly for the hangar, and then of course right before they touch down on the ground, pull the gear out and touch down buttery smooth. So once again, as a reminder, we're looking for cinematic landings. Any type of landing where you have your gear down all the way from Cleveland works perfectly fine in Star Citizen, but that's not what we're looking for today. We're looking for people who have some real showmanship and a real craft for having smooth landings that are also very cinematic. And in this case, for this reclaimer, we're having some trouble. He's tipped on his side, so he's going to be losing altitude as he comes in. He really needs to flatten out that trajectory and flatten out horizontal so he gets those bottom. Oh, no. OK, so he clips the bottom of the platform. Platform A on the left side of your screen there, you'll see he clips the bottom of it. So now he's just kind of belly flopped. OK, so now he's pulling the gear out. This is going to rotate those main engines to face downward and give him some upward thrust which hopefully will give him some controls. He can actually lift up now. There we go, he's lifting up. Oh, he's overcooking the roll. So you gotta be careful with the Reclaimer. Once you're in VTOL here or even landing gear mode, the roll can be a little bit twitchy. So you gotta be very careful when you're doing this. Instead, what you wanna do is you wanna go straight up in the air and just hold your altitude and make sure you're stable before you start moving. And in this case, he's kind of getting caught on stuff here. It looks like maybe the gears are actually catching the ground a little bit, causing weird stuff. Oh no, he's overcooking the roll. He's overcooking the roll. He's going to, okay. At this point, the thrusters are just not going to help anymore. He overcooks the roll. Gravity is now taking over. Jesus, take the yoke. <laughs> he is now tipping into the hangar. Goodness me. Well, folks, that is the beauty of watching your takeoff and landings in my little fury here. Everything you're going to see is entirely unscripted, including what just happened here. I literally just turned on the camera and I had a reclaimer in front of me. This is what happens. And this is always going to be something that's going to happen to a lot of folks out in the verse. Sometimes people are going to have their off days. This is just naturally how things are. And this is why I mostly record in third person to where I can best, you know, awfully do it because I want to be sure that I'm not trying to call people out. I don't want to put names out there because I'm not trying to embarrass you. We're just all here as a community enjoying it and having fun and maybe seeing if we can put some numbers to this. See if you give this a rating. Now, unfortunately, this reclaimer here is obviously having a bad day. Now, this wouldn't be a zero out of 10 landing. No, no, that's a crash landing. If you crash and die, that is a zero out of 10. This is more of a just simple one out of 10. Not very cinematic, although very entertaining. I will agree, very entertaining indeed. But wow, what a way to start the day. I literally just got into the Fury, flew up in the air, and just hit the record button to start this intro and immediately had a reclaimer just pop up in front of me like that. But that is the luck of the die. That is what we get here. And actually, here's some more luck for us in front of us. We have a large hangar opening up over here. Uh, we got something either taking off or coming down. Uh, do we have something coming down? I don't hear anything, so we might have something taking off. Yes, I think I see something in the hangar. What have we got here? And we have what looks to be another Reclaimer. Reclaimer is very popular right now. CIG have recently nerfed some of the cargo for a lot of ERTs and whatnot. I think it was the HRTs or VHRTs, whatever it was, one of the bounties, they have nerfed the cargo. So people have gone back to doing a lot more salvaging. And in this case, mostly solo salvaging with the Reclaimer to make a lot more money. And you can see this Reclaimer still has their gear down. They are now rotating their gear. Ah, they're switching VTOL back on. Uh, oh wait, nope. They're going to just go ahead and turn VTOL off anyway, because now they're going to know straight up. Now, what you actually want to do when you're taking off in the Reclaimer is you want to lift up until you're out of the hangar. You can pull the gear up during that process and then hit the VTOL keys, which is K by default. And that will prevent the engines from rotating backwards. Because if you have your gear down and then you pull the gear up, what will happen is the engines will automatically rotate backwards and you will start to sink like a rock because you have no longer your main engines pointing down, which helps you lift upwards. So when you pull your gear up, you hit K to rotate the engines back down again to keep them or even just keep them from rotating if you do it basically sequentially like that. And you can lift up pretty fast that way. In this case here, this person has actually flipped the engines to the front and back mode. So they turned off VTOL and then they nosed up. The problem with this is that the main engines actually aren't strong enough to push the engine 
that hard. You have to really use a lot of boost in order to keep going up. This is why this person is actually not going up, they're just going sideways. So you want to keep the engines pointed down and gain as much altitude as you can before you rotate. So you want to really go higher up into the less denser atmosphere. So that way your ship is easier to rotate and then you can just boost straight up. Oh, what do we got here? We have someone coming in to land. It looks like a Gladius coming in to land now. Nice pass by sound. Let's see how they do. Let's go ahead and zoom on in. They got their gear down quite early. Again, technically this is not a bad thing, but we're looking for cinematics here. This person is coming in for a nice landing. Nice and smooth, but they kind of slide a little bit, I think, there. Yeah, they slid towards the little mail slot all the way at the end there. You can see their canopy's actually opening all the way at the end. They kind of came in a little hot and then slid on the ground, which was kind of cool, but not what we're looking for. Remember, the cinematics that we're looking for here is we want you to have a nice controlled profile as you come in, no hesitation, you find your landing spot, line up, come down, gear down, and then buttery smooth that landing. You can see that reclaimer is still struggling there. This is why you don't generally want to do a nose up approach with the reclaimer until you gain a little bit more altitude. You can, but you're going to expend a lot of boost. And also if you're decoupled, you have to be aware that the ship is going to be sinking forward. If that makes sense, it's going to be a little bit offset. So if you decide to do that while you are decoupled, you're going to want to make sure that you're also applying upward thrust and additional boost. If you do, do decide to do that, it's a lot better to have the VTOL engines pointed down and just simply strafe up, hold space bar, just go straight up. You have a lot of thrusters pointing downward, including those main engines, and that will help you ascend a lot faster. And then, like I said, once you're in thinner atmosphere, you can then rotate those engines, pull your nose up, and then just take off like a rocket ship. But when you're at this low altitude, you probably don't really want to do that. It's a little bit suboptimal. All right, things are looking like they are calming down here. For that Gladius, fantastic landing, but we're missing a few criteria geared down a little bit early and of course they were not quite centered they slid on the hangar at the bottom uh, which is really cool but not what we're looking for here so i'm going to give them a seven out of ten fantastic but not quite what we are looking for all right i'm going to go ahead and cut the cameras here until we get our next customer all right so we have a reclaimer coming in to land like i said reclaimers are extremely popular right now especially for those of you that are looking to make a lot of money so expect to see them here although i would expect to see them at area 18 because area 18 has the easier access of the tdd terminals as well as the admin terminals all in one place so it's just way easier to sell rmc and construction materials uh, I don't know if the actual sale of construction materials is actually different at Orison than it is anywhere else. Let me know in the comments below for those of you that actually do a lot of salvaging. Is there actually really a difference or is people just like being here because of the ease of it or because it's cool looking? I don't know. Let me know below. But you can see here, this reclaimer has their gear down a little bit early. Again, you can rotate the engines independently of the gear by hitting that K key to switch to VTOL. And they haven't done that here, so unfortunately now they are going to be... We're going to have to dock some points for that because, of course, the gear is out way too early. Now, what is nice about having your gear out early is it does mean that proximity assist can help you as you're getting closer to the ground. It'll start to actually slow the actual sensitivity of your inputs and actually lower some of the power of the thrusters. So things are not as twitchy. But that being said, though, we are looking for a cinematic landing here. And that's not what we're getting from this Reclaimer pilot currently. Although they are nice and centered, looking really, really good here. Looks like they might be square on the money now if they can just arrest that forward momentum. It's a little bit hard to do that when you're in actual landing gear slash VTOL mode. Yeah, see, that's the unfortunate other issue with the gear slash VTOLs of the Reclaimer. Forward and backwards uh, maneuverability is extremely shot when that happens. You re have a really hard time controlling it. So you have to be careful that you don't overcook going too far forward or going too far backwards. You have to kind of line it up or even fly it a little bit like a helicopter. You know, you could always nose up so that way the thrusters can give you a little bit more vectoring and give you a little bit more control. It's a little hard. Reclaimer definitely can be really tricky, but it's not that bad as long as you practice it. Very nice landing, but of course, gear early and slightly off set. So we're going to have to give them, I'll give them an 8 out of 10 because overall that was a really solid performance there. I just would love to see it a little bit more cinematic. All right, let's go ahead and wait for the next customer, shall we? All right, time of day has changed here, although it is actually early morning, so it's been some time has passed since the last time I have recorded here. It is actually a separate day. Sometimes you get some good stuff, like you get some action right away, like we saw earlier in my last recording. And then times like today, you get 
hardly anything. But this time around, now that it's morning, it looks like we have some activity going on. So let's see what we get. We have somebody with their lights on as they are approaching. Those yellow lights tell me it's Drake, and indeed, I am correct, they are Drake. That is a vulture coming into land. Now, many of you who've watched this series before know that there is a bit of a vulture curse going around, where it seems that vulture owners, for some reason, are struggling with the you know, weird shape of the vulture itself, where those arms can really sneak up on you and people end up smacking into stuff. Now, Orson has side-on hangers, which should make it a lot simpler to land. As you all well know, I love side-on hangers. It allows for much more beautiful vistas as you're taking off and landing compared to the vertical hangers, which in my opinion are probably the most dull hangers. You know, that is just, it is what it is. I just prefer the side-on hangers. Maybe my opinion will change when CIG reintroduces the landing helper system down the line, but currently that's not what we're seeing now. You can see the gear on the Vulture is down early, and like I will continue to repeat once again, not a problem. However, for our criteria, that is going to be points taken off there. Let's see how well they do. I can hear somebody off to my right either taking off or landing, but we're focused on this Vulture right now. As they come in nice and lined up, looking solid. They're right above, right on the money. Bring it down. Oh, a little quick, a little quick. Careful there. <laughs> they were lined up and then they decided, ah, screw it. And they just <laughs> went straight down onto the pad. And I didn't see any sparks. So ultimately the gears took care of it there. So <laughs> not too shabby actually. And uh, I will say that's a, that's a little bit, you know, disconcerting, but I'm not gonna dock points for that. I think that was actually really, really good there. You can see these two players over here. I'm not going to rate their landings because I went into first person. You can see their names. So I'm not going to watch them take off or land. I'm just going to continue about my business here. For that Vulture, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10 because they did everything right. That gear was the main culprit, though. All right, let's move on. All right, what do we got here? Something popped up on radar. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. We have what appears to be, is that an Ares? It looks to be an Ares indeed coming into land. Uh, that dark livery could mean it's an inferno, potentially. We'll see. Let's go ahead and mosey our way a little bit forward here, get closer to this individual. What? Oh, yes, indeed it's an inferno. Maybe this person is doing ERTs. Inferno is a phenomenal bounty hunting ship right now currently, so if you are farming certs, definitely a ship to look towards for farming because it is an absolute beast at demolishing just about everything, even the light fighters that tend to give people trouble. Only a few, you know, a few squirts of that thing will absolutely delete anything that gets in its way. The AI aren't exactly the, you know, the sharpest tools in the shed, so they tend to get in front of your gun pretty easily. And as long as you, uh, you know, you got some control over the ship, you know how to handle it, you should be perfectly fine. Oh, never mind. The Ares said, "Screw it, I do not like Orison. I go away now. Bye bye." Okay. I guess the Ares is just gonna go about his business. Maybe he is trying to set his position. Remember, if you call a hangar ATC, what happens is if the game crashes or whatever and you end up going to a different server, you will pop up in Orison, for example, here. Uh, well, let's go ahead and check out what it appears to be either an A2 or an M2 landing here. There was a hangar below me that opened, but I, you know, I'm going to go focus on whatever this is. Maybe it's a C2. Let's go check him out because I usually like to watch the big ships land. And you can see, Speaking of big ships here, guy's got his VTOL out. Love to see it. VTOL action, especially with a Hercules. It definitely makes it just a little bit more dainty when you're trying to squeeze into those hangers. It also gives you that upwards control. You can see the gear is out a little bit early, which is unfortunate. You know, we got everything going good here. Ooh, watch the tail. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, wax the side of the hangar. That is unfortunate. Also, love delivery there, cowboy. Awesome stuff there. So we have excellent VTOL deployment. However, unfortunately, we also have a bonk with the side of the hangar and an early gear deployment. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a 7 out of 10. Normally, that would be an 8 out of 10, but they did bonk into the side of the hangers. And I do have to dock more points for that because that is, oof, that is not cinematic. I don't think, uh, oh, you know, Qui-Gon Jinn landing his Jedi Starfighter will be bonking into the hangar anytime soon. So I have to be honest and take points for that. Let's check out this 600i taking off. Now, I'm not mostly going to be rating, uh, taking off, excuse me, takeoffs from here because Orison is notoriously awful to capture takeoffs because of how decentralized the hangars are. However, I can't miss the opportunity to watch a beautiful 600i take off anyway, though I'm not going to be giving any ratings to anybody unless I catch the sequence early. I catch somebody actually taking off at some point early. I hear something nearby me. What do we got here? 
what have we got here? We have a vulture taken off. See, this is what I mean, right? I can't actually see when hangars are opening and closing. A lot of other spaceports tend to be very centralized, so it's very easy to see when a ship is taking off or landing. Out here in Orison, because it's so heavily decentralized and you have all these little spindles here and there, it can be very hard to capture when players take off and land, so that's why we are mostly going to be looking at landings today. Alright, with that being said, let's go ahead and cut the cameras here and find our next customer, shall we? The 600i from earlier has decided that spaceflight actually isn't for them, so they look like they are coming back in for landing, so let's go ahead and take a look. You can see the gear deployment is actually pretty early here. And unfortunately, we're going to have to take points for that. Again, we're looking for cinematic landings here. You can see on the bottom left, ships falling to their doom over there. I think Orison is still suffering from those random issues where ships will spawn outside of hangars, much like how it happens at Seraphim, especially when the server is doing poorly. And you end up seeing stuff like that where ships are just falling to their doom. See, the 600i is doing pretty well there. Watch the back end, though. This is the problem with the, the types of ships like this where people kind of assume that they are the center of the universe where their cockpit is. Remember, if you're in a long ship like the 600i, you want to get closer to that front of the hangar with your actual cockpit, or in this case, the bridge on the 600i. You don't want to actually be in the center of the pad. If you're in the center of the pad as you're coming down, chances are you're going to end up thwacking something on your way in. Because remember, that 600i, decently long. So you want to actually get close within the bridge. You want to actually get as close as you possibly can. What is that up there? I think that's somebody actually taking off. But yeah, you want to get as close as you can to the actual wall of the hangar itself with your bridge or cockpit. So that way you know that the back end is going to fit snugly into the back of the hangar as you rotate. All right, let's go ahead and wait for the next customer. Like I said, I think this person is actually taking off. So let's go ahead and cut the cameras here. All right, we have somebody coming in hot to the landing zone here. Some type of very fast light ship of some type. Could be a heavy no yeah it is a heavy it is a lightning now that the lod's have actually properly loaded in we have a lightning coming in you can see the mandibles now actually loading in as the lods are working their way up let's see i i think i just saw the mandibles anime so this person may have just pulled their gear down a little bit early here let's actually get in for a closer look shall we let's take a look let's go ahead and mosey on in here they are right next to the hangar they want to be in. I can't quite see the gear status. Let's get a little bit closer. Oh, they mail slot land. That's something you don't always see every day. That's usually a pretty ballsy move. You want to avoid doing mail slots because of the desync of the hangars. It's actually a little bit spooky to do that, but it's still cool to see nonetheless. And it looks like they are decently centered on the hangar there. Yeah, and I couldn't quite actually see the gear from where I was. It looked like the mandible animated. But uh, I couldn't quite actually make that out. But I will give them points for having a mail slot landing. It's not exactly something you see very often there. So bravo to you, Mr. Lightning. Uh, I will just assume that you had your gear down uh, not early. I'm just going to give you the benefit of the doubt. And I will just say that you're landing there. Yep. Should we give him a 10 out of 10? You know, we could give him a 10 out of 10 because that was a mail slot landing, right? 10 out of 10 for entertainment. I will give that person a 10 out of 10 for entertaining me. All right, let's move on. So I was AFK for a few short minutes here, and when I came back, this monstrosity is what I saw here. A reclaimer trying to take off. <laughs> no, it is on its back in front of another reclaimer. I don't know if the other reclaimer is manned or if it's abandoned, but the other reclaimer, the one that is on its back, was trying to take off and then clipped the back end of that landed re reclaimer and then tipped over and is now on its back like a turtle and is now struggling. At this point, it is pretty much over for the Reclaimer. Unfortunately, with thrusters being so weak as they are for the Reclaimer, those maneuvering thrusters, it is pretty much impossible to get from out from this position. As you can see, the other Reclaimer, I'm not sure if it's abandoned, probably is because of the way it's moving. It's doing a, a little bit of a stick bug dance there as it's taunting the other Reclaimer pilot, uh, giving, you know, like laughing at him for what happened there. Uh, yeah, so this uh, other Reclaimer is a bit of a troll, it seems. But yeah, I was AFK for a little bit, came back, and this is what I saw here. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful. You got to try to avoid, to the best of your ability, over-tipping that thing. And uh, it could be that this uh, stick bug reclaimer that's dancing over here maybe got in the way of this reclaimer and caused him to tip. It's hard to say. But yeah, that's unfortunate. That is probably very aggravating, too. So I imagine this person is probably just going to quit and maybe reclaim and come back, leaving yet another abandoned reclaimer out in the wilds here. Wow. 
Uh, pretty amazing sight, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just leave them to their devices here and let's see if we can actually find another customer coming in, shall we? We have a Constellation Taurus coming in for landing here. Let's take a look at how they're doing. I can see that bottom nacelle is pushed forward, so their gear is already down. Yes, indeed, the gear is already down. A little bit too early for my liking, unfortunately, but like I said many times again, it's not that big of a deal. However, I have to take points off for that. So they are now easing themselves in a little bit of minor hesitation. We'd like to see them do it a little bit more smoothly there. They are lining up maybe a little bit too far cooked forward. Careful there. And touchdown. And yeah, they're a little bit too far forward there. So gear out a little bit early, some hesitation and a little bit too far forward. Overall, a nice landing, but we are missing some crucial components here, so I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what we get next, shall we? We actually have a Reclaimer taking off over here, and they are in full VTOL mode, not landing gear mode. Some of you, unfortunately, were under the impression that with landing gear down, that was the only way to have the engines rotated downwards. And now that is not true. You can have VTOL mode activated just as you see here and the actual foot pads for the gears will retract as you can see here. This allows you to have the benefit of VTOL. It looks beautiful and great and you still have that wonderful ascent profile as you climb up into the thinner atmosphere. Let's give them a little bit of a wave here. Hello buddy. Thank you so much for demonstrating the VTOL mode on the Reclaimer. Yeah, so then once you've gained enough altitude, you can then rotate those engines and nose up and then start boosting your way out of the atmosphere. All right, let's see who we get next. We have Lightning also coming in for landing now. Gear is already down. Their gear was down for quite some time there. And is unfortunate. Again, we will dock points for that. So let's go ahead and see how well they do. No mail slot landing for this Lightning, however. So let's see if they can actually put it right down smack in the center there. Oh, they gear up by accident. That tends to happen when you have your gear down for a long period of time. You end up forgetting if you actually pulled the gear down or not. And in this case, this person did and pulled the gear up and then realized, whoops, and then they hit the gear button again to bring it back down. Now they're lining things up. Let's see how well they can actually line it on the center. It's a little bit of hesitation there. They could be going into third person and adjusting their view, which is why you'll see that they're hovering or hesitating there. They're kind of checking their lights. They're seeing if they need it or not. It seems like they do want it. So they're coming in nice and smooth. Look at that. That is definitely a vector land if I've ever seen one. If you're not familiar, a vector land is just when you use decouple to actually land, although it requires the gear to be out quite early to be effective. While that looks very cool, we are still going to dock points for that. I will give them an 8 because that was still a very nice vector landing, but the gear is out just too early. And now we have a Carrick coming into land. The Carrick is one of the more popular ships in the verse. It, just in general, in Star Citizen, it's one of the more popular ships. So you don't actually, it's interesting, you don't actually see this ship in the verse too often. And that is because it really can't do much else other than be a multi-crew beauty. There's not much else going on there. You can also see the wings are a little bit desynced here. Yep. You can see how they just instantly teleported into their starting state and now they are rotating downward. This also does mean this is a little bit of an early gear deployment. Ooh, watch your altitude. Look at that shadow really close to the ground there. Ooh, misjudges it as they come in they might be a little bit decoupled this is oh careful they're skidding along the side there it could be that they're a little bit decoupled there but oh yeah that's a oh yeah look it was looking solid but again this is the reason why you got to be careful when you're on the bridge of your ship especially a long ship make sure that the bridge or cockpit if you're in a long ship is closer to the front end of the hangar as you come in Remember, you are not the center of the universe. The center of your ship is way behind you. So you got to make sure you give it a lot of room. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You know, the carrot came in for landing there, had its gear down ah, just a little too early for my liking. And of course, they bonked into the side of the hangar and started floundering at that point. But they nicely recovered. Unfortunately, that bonk is going to cost them. So I'm going to have to give them a 6 out of 10 on that landing. Overall, though, love seeing carrot. Definitely a big fan. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Large hangar opening up over here next to the stick bug reclaimer. Let's see what we got. Another reclaimer coming off the line here. Let's see if this person's going to have the same trouble as the other one. You can also see that other reclaimer is now gone. Don't know what happened to it. Maybe that person finally was able to move it out of the way. Although I didn't see it. Could be that it got stored. This person is pulling their gear up and they switch to VTOL mode, which is exactly what you want to see. Now, I said I wasn't going to rate takeoffs, but this would be a 10 out of 10 takeoff here pretty much because this is exactly what I would like to see. 
Oh, but then they're going to rotate a little bit early. Be careful. Let's see if they're going to actually apply boost or if they're just going to go flat here. Nope, they're going to apply boost and some upward thrust. And they're actually going to gain some altitude here, although they are slowing down a little bit. Again, I recommend that you do this flat horizontal with your VTOL active because it gives you not only the Mavs assisting you, but also that main engine. So you're going to ascend very fast. And I'm just right behind him here at a very slow pace. I'm pushing my left stick very gently here, so I'm not going too fast. He is definitely not going very fast at this point. Apply some boost. I don't know if you are, but apply some boost. That'll help. <laughs> but yeah, that's exactly what you'd like to see with the Reclaimer. Gear up and then switch VTOLs on so the engines stay rotated so they look beautiful like that. And let's see, we got a hangar opening up over here. What have we got? Let's take a peek. Oh, a mail slot takeoff with a Reliant. Beautiful takeoff in pancake mode there. Let's see if they're actually going to flip into flight mode here. Yes, they are. Look at that beauty. Gotta love the Reliant. It's a little bit of a rare ship. You know, sometimes it's a little bit of a black sheep in the MISC family, but it's still really, really cool. And I haven't actually flown it in a while because at one point it did have the actual VTOL engines tied to its actual landing gear mode, which made it kind of a pain to fly nicely if you want to do some smooth landings and whatnot. So I actually didn't touch it. But one of you in the comments actually let me know recently that they actually changed that. And now VTOL and the landing gear are actually separate. So the rotation of those engines are actually separate. And I tried it out recently and you're actually absolutely correct. Also, stick bug reclaimer is now just dead on top of anger. I don't know what's going on. This server is having a rough time and uh, Stick Bug Reclaimer here is that, oh, oh, never mind. Stick Bug Reclaimer is back and alive and he is now jumping for joy as he's back alive. Oh goodness, this server is probably not long for this world. I might switch servers here soon. Uh, but anyway, let's move on, shall we? But of course we gotta take it inside, folks. I'm inside the hangars here at Oris and we have what appears to be a Hornet of some description coming into land. Let's take a look. What is it? It looks like a Hornet ghost with cannons on it. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> slides in onto the diamond there. Really cool. Gear was out earlier than I would like, but that slide into the hangar just looks so cool. I would give you more points, sir, if you actually were like in an origin ship or any type of ship that had wheels. You don't have wheels. You're not allowed to do that. What is wrong with you? <laughs> not that it really matters, of course at the end of the day very cool landing but yeah gear was out early and they did hit the x they did slide a little bit which looked cool but i don't think we'd see that in you know star wars or something like that right like you know you got to be careful about that so uh we'll give them an eight i want to be a little bit more generous because that was entertaining so i'm going to give this person an eight because that was really cool but we missed the gear and also we slid into position could have been a bit better all right <laughs> i'm going to stay in this hangar for a little bit let's see what we find shall we Got a lightning coming in and looks like they're doing a could be a vector land there. It looks like they were gliding into position. Gear was out early as well, too. They also slide into position. Also looking very good. And it was also very, very smooth in that descent profile. Again, we are got the elements of that gear missing and we did slide a little bit there. We want to make sure that we butter that landing. Now, <laughs> if we were rating this as a plane landing, I would call that a butter landing, but you don't got wheels. And because you don't have wheels, you're not supposed to slide. <laughs> not that it, again, it matters at all whatsoever. I will also give this person eight out of 10 because that was actually really good. It was very entertaining, very well controlled, but the gear was out early and they slide a little bit there. You got to watch out for that slide, especially if you want to get more points in that category. Also, nice loadout. All uh, looks like uh, NDB neutron repeaters and a couple of XJ distortion repeaters there. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and see who else comes in, shall we? All right, let's see what we got here. You can see that beautiful Crusader Industries barge back there. CIG, I will buy one of those if you sold them. I would. I know people have said the same thing about the shuttles in Crusader Industry shuttles. I don't actually care for those shuttles. Screw those. I want that barge. I want to crash it into the side of a javelin. All right, <laughs> and here's our customer of the day here. We have a 300. What have we got here? It looks like a, probably a 325 with that giant gun on the nose. Gear is already down early. You are allowed to slide, sir, because you have wheels, but you are just gonna choose to line things up here. Nice black livery also, by the way, really nice. Buttery smooth landing, a little bit offset. So we have early gear deployment and a little bit slightly offset there. Also, look at these corollers. You don't see corollers very often in people's loadouts. So this is definitely a PVE loadout here. Corollers with that nice uh, Omniski cannon on the nose there. 
But yeah, this is also going to be a eight out of 10. Now they do have wheels. They could have done a slide landing if they wanted to, but they decided to come in straight down, which was awesome. However, they are offset, so I will take points for that. So yeah, eight out of 10. Let's find out who the next person is, shall we? All right, hangar doors are fully open here. You can see that Crusader Industries barge up there floating around. And if you're not already aware, you can actually land on those things. I've done it before in one of my previous videos. They're really, really fun to just hang out and just kind of enjoy the view. So if you ever want something to do around Orison, go check out the barges. You can actually land directly on top of them, get out of your ship and actually check them out. Oh, here we go. Here's our customer. We have a cute little Aurora coming in for landing here. Is that an MR? I cannot tell. Gear deployment a little bit too early for my liking, but let's see how well they actually stick the landing here regardless. Uh, I could see, I can't see guns on this thing here. It could be the LODs are a little bit offset here. Let's see how well they're doing. Nice and smooth, so far controlled. Minor, minor hesitation. Okay, they got cannons. Oh, this might be a Aurora ES. That's not a variant you see very often. Oh, a little bit too far ahead there, way off centered, but a very smooth landing though. I do quite enjoy that landing. N minimal hesitation. Although early gear deployment and a little bit off centered there. So yeah, that is going to, we're gonna be taking points off of that there. I will definitely subtract that and we're gonna get another eight out of 10 here. Just a general good landing, but not good enough for that coveted 10 out of 10. Good day to you, sir, for flying a pretty obscure variant of the Aurora here, the ES. I do believe that's an ES. I should be, if I'm correct on that, let me know in the comments below if I'm not. I do believe those ballistic cannons on the front kind of give that away as well as that paint scheme. And if I recall, the ES is the luxury variant, if I'm not mistaken, I believe. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what it is if you do know if I'm actually correct or not. You can just start furiously typing and saying, oh, you are an awful content creator. How dare you make content in Star Citizen? You don't even know what type of Aurora this is. <laughs> let me know in the comments below. All right, folks, I think this is a good place to end things out here today. This was a pretty strong showing from Orison. I don't usually like covering Orison because I can only really see the landings more than I can see the takeoffs. But regardless, what we got here was awesome. Lots of Reclaimer showings here, you know? It's pretty, pretty interesting. But that is to be expected. Reclaimers are an excellent way to make money. Now, if you did indeed enjoy today's video, please leave a like as it really, really does help out the channel. And of course, if you want to see more videos like this and much, much more down the line, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon as well. And of course, there's also channel memberships for those of you that want to support a little bit more than normal. But until next time, fly safe, because you never know who might be watching, and I'll see you all in the black.